Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well and a lot of you want to understand how to use MetaTrader for like a pro. So a lot of you are often seeing this app but don't necessarily understand how it works. So in this video, I decided to go through everything step by step so you guys can have a good and clear understanding. So we're going to start first. So let's say we are opening an app. So here, MetaTrader 4, I'm going to go on it. And uh, right now I have this live account. Now, what you need to understand is to con in order to connect to your live account, okay, generally when you're registering to a brokerage, it's already giving you the access. But let's start with a demo account, which is probably the best even when you still have absolutely zero knowledge so you guys can practice. Usually when you open the app, uh, you will arrive here and you will click on the top right corner on the plus. Uh, in case you have an account, you will simply click on login. You will choose the server. So for example, if you are with IC uh, Market, you will be here. They will tell you the name of the server. Um, let's say you are on IC Market Live 06. They will give you the login and the password. Sometimes the save password is not. I would recommend you to always click on save the password. Okay, it's very important. Then when you log in, it's automatic. You don't need to re-log in every single time. So in case we're going to start with a demo account, which I would highly recommend you in case you're not familiar with the app. So you go here and uh, you're going to make a code. So, uh, sorry. You go on here and you click on open a demo account on MetaCode demo here. You need to put like a phone number. So you will put uh, I will just put like a random number and a random email in my case. OK account type i want to be like a forex usd based account you can select the leverage okay so i will take the maximum one one for 100 um, deposits how much you want to have on the account let's say i want a million then you register is going to give you some um, logins you can take a screenshot or you can just copy to your clipboard and then done your demo account is created guys it's beautiful you guys can see so now, if we go here, um, you will see that there is few tabs. There is the codes, the charts, the trades, the history, and the settings here where we can see it's a demo account. We're going to start with the most basic stuff and we're going to go with the codes. So the first thing here is um, I already have few pairs, okay, Euro USD, GBB USD, USD JPY. But right now, I don't know the pricing. While here, if I go on the advanced section, I can see the spread. How much is the spread on each currency? Which one is the cheapest one? So the smaller the number is, the cheapest a spread is. Here, I have one pip. So let's take an example. Let's say to stock Apple worth $100. In case you want to buy it, they will sell it to you for a bit more expensive. So let's say uh, it's $100. They will sell it for $100.10. So the difference between those 10 pennies it's the commission of the broker and this is how they pay themselves to make the transaction between the buyer and the seller and let's say at the opposite if you want to sell okay they will sell you a bit more expensive okay if it's um like the real price is um 98 dollars okay they will sell you for 98.2 so they always add a margin so here we are simply um, now that you are here, you can see the different pairs. You can edit in case you want to remove. Let's say, for example, you are not trading the pair which are not directly linked to the USD. So AUD, CAD, AUD, and uh, that's basically it. You can select them and you can press on the top right and it will automatically delete it. Uh, also, in case there is some pairs uh, you like, you can move them. Let's say GBBUSD, you don't trade it a lot. You want to put it downstairs, you can. In case you want to put it upstairs because it's your favorite pair, you can do. Personally, for myself, I will put EURUSD and XOUUSD like this. Then here we are. Uh, the edit is done. Now that we have this, it's pretty basic. It's to see the charts. We can add different pairs. So let's say you are looking for a crypto pair. So you're going to go on the top right. You're going to press here and here. Unfortunately, they are not giving you this because um, on the demo account, you don't have the version. But if you would be on uh, your normal like accounts with the brokerage, they would offer you crypto to add or whatever. But here you can find other pairs. Uh, let's say you wanna you like to pair euro uh, Swiss franc okay you can add you just press you see and they all adding then you do done and then you can see that they all appeared on the bottom and now 
just gonna delete them and boom. So it's very easy. It's probably the easiest app that has ever been created in order to trade. Then we're gonna go here on the chart. The chart here is representing, as you can see on the top corner, on XOUUSD on the five minute time frame. If I click on the M5 on the top left, I can change the, um, the time frame. So each candle will now, if I press on the D1, each candle represents a fluctuation of a day on gold. So um, then I can go on the four hour, I can go on the one hour and I can play. Here I have one indicator, but if you want indicator, your screen will probably be like this with no indicator on the bottom. In case you get familiar and you wanna add more stuff, it's very easy, you go here on the F main window, you can add some indicators, but this video is not for that. Here we are really going through all of the most basic stuff, you know? If you wanna draw like a, a trend, like everything is pretty doable on this. But right now what I would wanna clarify with you is that I wouldn't recommend trading view as a tool to do the charting okay for this i would highly recommend trading view trading view is the best it's like uh, if you are a cooker you know uh you cook and then there is the book you have two different entities and here it's not where you are cooking okay where you are seeing like the recipe you go on trading view it's where you're going to be your charting and then where you cook it's where you place the trade so here we go by the way, some people don't like to have the black screen like this. So in case you want to change it, you can go simply on the settings. You can go on chart, you go on colors and you can basically change everything you want. The foreground, the bar up, the beer candle, the line. You can basically change all the colors and just do it as you wish. Now that this is done, here we go on the trade. So we can see what's the current balance, how much I have. Uh, the equity, uh, it represents something when... There is a position, so I'm just going to do a trade on gold. Um, ah, actually, I didn't show you how to do the trade. So you know what? I think it's the right moment just to explain you everything. So how to do a trade? It's very simple. Let's say I want to get into a one lot standard lot on um, gold. It's very simple. So what I'm going to do is uh, simply I'm going to uh, on gold. So I'm going to go here, press on gold. If I press on chart, it's going to show me the charts. In case I press details, uh, here you can see um, informations about everything, uh, to swap short everything. But what's interesting for us is not this. We're going to go here and we're going to trade. So now let's say I want to get into a buy on gold. So what I will do is I will go here and I will place a trade. Now I have different type of position that I can take. Uh, the first here is I'm going to uh, press on instant execution. If I press here, instant, uh, instant execution, what will happen is if I press buy, it will automatically buy with a five lot. Now you're probably confused about lot size. Everything about here is linked to the risk management. So let's go on my computer so you also can have a good understanding. Here we are on my FX books for the lot calculator. So here I have to, I can choose the uh, currency pair. So in my case, I want to take gold. Uh, account currency, okay, account size is 1 million in my case, but let's say uh, you want to start with smaller, let's say for example, you're starting with a, a thousand pounds account, a USD account, let's say you want to risk 5% per trade, your stop loss is around 25 pips, okay, then you press here, calculate, Okay, and it's telling you, okay, you can use two lot on your trade, okay, in case you want to do this. You have the entire lot size. So when you press calculated, uh, you can see they are telling you your lot size is two lot. With two lot, if you lose 5% uh, of your account is literally uh, 50 dot box and that's corresponding, okay? Uh, now, that's very important to understand that having a correct um size is very important because it will avoid you to blow your account. Now, in case we go back to the uh, MT4, what we can see here, guys, is few stuff. We have on the instant execution, buy limit, sell limit, buy stop and sell stop. Usually when you go and you want to do a live trade, so let's say, for example, right now I want to buy gold, okay? I will just press buy and boom, my order had been executed and I can see it here, literally. I can see I'm down uh, 30 pounds. It's moving now in profit of 100 pounds, uh, USD, sorry. And to close it, it's very easy. What you can do is either you can go here and close the position and then you need to press close again. 
or you can swap here on the right and here you can choose what's the percentage of your position. So I currently got with a five lot position, but if I want, I can only close half of my position, 2.5 lots. So that's very interesting. In case you wanna hold your position but secure your profit, what we can do is, for example, if you did five lot, close two lot or three lot or four lot to take a massive profit and then just let your trade go, you know? So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna close now, for example, uh, half of my position, 2.5, I closed, okay, boom. And I closed uh, 95, USD in losses and the rest keeps going, okay? This is not a good trade. This is just to show you exactly how the app work. So here we go, how it works. Um, we have the balance, that's how much you have on your trading account. Then we have the equity. The equity is your balance minus or plus your current trade if it's in profit. Then we have the margin, free margin and the margin level. Now let's say, and we're gonna go back on the computer so you can see how we can use the different stuff because as you guys can see, we have the buy limit, sell limit, buy stop and sell stop, which are also very interesting to be used. So here we are on the sc screen and let's say uh, there is two type of stuff, the limits and the stop. So a buy limit is pretty simple. In case uh, we are right now, okay, that's where we are. I'm just gonna remove this. And I think the market is gonna uh, start dropping when it goes back towards this resistance. What I can do is I can set up a limit, okay? So when the market hit this, it will automatically sell it, okay? And not the opposite. Let's say here, we can see the lowest point of this pair, gold. When it's gonna go here, I can go and set up a buy limit so when it hit it then i will get into a buy now we have the buy stop which is the opposite so let's say here i think that in case it hit, hit that level okay i will get into a sell but in case it breaks it we know it's gonna keep going up so around that level here 4208 i can put a buy stop when it breaks that level it will automatically buy and go all the way up and the same thing, in case it breaks the support, which let's say we have a support, that one, in case it breaks that level, we know it's gonna keep falling, then what we can do is basically get into a, a sell stop, which will automatically get into a sell when it hit that level. So that's the different stuff you can do. So now if I go back on the MT4 to show you this, so now if we go back here, you guys can see that um, in case I wanna put a buy limit, I can put my price, my stop, and my take profit, everything basically can be done here. Now, if I go back here, what I can do guys is um, also do a trade. So here I can go, I can go on a trade and uh, I can choose my stop loss and my take profit. Meaning that like this, if I have my take profit, it means once it reach a certain level, okay, it will automatically close in profit. And at the opposite, my stop loss will avoid me to avoid big losses. So as soon as it hit one level, it will automatically be closed. Here we are, and then we have the histories where you can see like what you made or lost in a day. You guys can go on the weekly. Here we have no data because we just created the demo account, but here we go. That's basically how it works. Then we have the monthly, then you can go on the custom. You can select, for example, the period. Let's say you just wanna take um, the last, the first week of October. So you're gonna go here, boom. Then you're gonna go here and you're gonna put seven and then you just press OK. In our case, no data because we were not trading on this account. But basically, that's how to use MetaTrader 4 in the most efficient way. Right now, you know how to trade. In case you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.